all right, all right, all right, guys. So now I'm going to break down the trader we just got for Rise of the Beast. And luckily for me, there's not that much to break down in all honesty, which it's both very upsetting and kind of relieving because I don't have to stay up too late to work on this. The trailer starts with Peru, uh, the location, and we see Mirage just running along the highway. And we also hear the same rap music from the first trailer, which I'm still disappointed that they're keeping it, but again, this is what Steven lacks, so it's what we get. Uh, I know some of you guys like it, that's completely cool, I just I just don't. Rap's really not for me. So we see Mirage, like, you know, just running along the highway, we get some car shots, because of course this is trying to promote the Porsche brand. So overall, as you guys might have discovered by now by just watching the trailer a few times, it's both a Mirage trailer and it's a Porsche trailer, because it's trying to promote that, you know, it's trying to promote the vehicle. So we see Mirage here, and something very interesting here is that they have actually updated the CGI and um, the look for this scene. As you can see, the colors are more vibrant. We have um, Noah, you know, coming out of Mirage and they're both walking forward. It looks like Noah probably does have the friendliest relationship with Mirage, at least at the moment. And we get Mirage fully transformed. And he says, yo, my name's Mirage, kid. What's up, my fellow youth? <laughs> he basically says that. We get Mirage's full like design and we see it fully in motion now honestly i kind of like it but at the same time i'm still a bit mixed on it i don't know what it is about mirage but i get some very uncanny valley effect from him maybe it's the way his face is is, is shaped like the, the mouth and everything it gives me fnaf Ennard vibes and um it's kind of creeping me out the more i look at it he's gonna be our main character of the movie gonna be a kid-friendly character uh hopefully he they don't overplay his part or him being just that. Um, I hope there's more to him than meets the eye. Because so far, I think the dialogue for this trailer was kind of... I wouldn't say it was cringe. It was definitely not that. It's just like... I feel like he was trying too hard. But here he fist pumps no, And here we have a better look at him. Fully transformed. No part shifting at all. I think he looks pretty cool. Like design-wise, I think his body is just cool. It's just when I see his mouth moving where I actually kind of get creeped out of it. Am I the one who feels that way? So he fist bumps Noah and the location where they are is actually kind of important. A few days ago, I did a video breaking down the extended trailer. And in the extended trailers, it looks like this is the base where we're going to see Optimus, Bumblebee, RC, Wheeljack, and Mirage hang out. It's basically the Autobots hideout. This is the place where we see Bumblebee transform the trailer. And if you saw the extended shots of the first trailer, this is where Optimus Prime is heading to and transforming basically in the middle of the night. There are no humans around and this place is completely an Autobot safe heaven. Next up we go back to Peru and we see Stratosphere. Now when I saw this for the first time, not gonna lie, I was so surprised. But I was also kind of confused because um, when I saw this, I did not think it was Stratosphere because you know, I'm used to Dark of the Moon Stratosphere, him looking like that military transport cargo plane here he looks more like a world war ii plane you know but he's still pretty big and this is for a fact a uh, stratosphere or at least it looks to be that way I, I made this comment during my live stream but he reminds me a lot of that one world war ii transformer from the cut you know sequel to the last night or prequel i guess if you want to call it that there's a lot of resemblances there and when i first saw this guy i was thinking springer but then you know transfer just clicked because we know he's in the movie uh, we had to shut up a movie like he's inside a plane apparently he's in high altitude and it's gonna drop which this shot reminds me an awful lot of the dark of the moon the game in the first level when you play as bumblebee bumblebee just drops from stratosphere and falls all the way to the ground that's cool steven if you're watching this and you're taking inspiration from that game, I want to say, good job. Keep it up, man. But Moby here looks a bit buff, in all honesty. He looks it's a bit weird. But I'm pretty sure this is just Alfred Bumblebee. I don't think we're going to see the quote-unquote beast Bumblebee from um, the toy line, which I hope we don't, because that, that, that beast Bumblebee is... It's awful, it's awful. We get the shot that we saw in the first trailer again of the terror cons hunting down Mirage. Now, keep in mind, no one's driving Mirage. So Mirage is like, you know, Mirage probably has something that the Terracons want, which is why they're going after him. We get, we do get a slightly extended shot at Optimus Prime pointing his gun, which arguably it's probably the best composite shot in the trailer, both trailers to be honest. Now, um, Optimus Prime's face does look a bit different here. We see his mouth move and everything, and can I just say, 
what's up with Rust of the Beast and messing up everyone's heads? With the exception of RC and Bumblebee, I feel like most of the cast, their heads are kind of weirdly designed. Steven, if you're watching this, I sincerely wish and hope that um, Optimus just keeps his battle mask the whole time, or at least keep it for most of the movie. Look, look, I grew up with the Bay movies. I'm fine with Optimus Prime just having a, a mouth and stuff, that's completely cool. But with this body, with the G1 body, it just does not work. Please stop trying to make this work. The control art that Hasbro made of Optimus just holding his big rifle, it's so much better than this design. I know you guys are probably a bit tired of hearing me complain about this, but I'm sorry, I just had to bring it up. Something else that Laszlo Ben mentioned on Twitter is that the CGI has not been updated or fixed that much actually. It does look like they did some color correction when you compare a lot of these scenes to the first trailer. But if you take a look at this scene, this guy, his arm still clips into his body. There's a lot of like clipping between, you know, the C it's a lot of like CGI clipping here and it just looks kind of off. I, I hope it gets polished. Like, you know, it's still pretty early, maybe it will get polished, but we're less than half a year away from the movie and the CGI is still looking this rough with the second trader is kind of worrisome. I'm, it's not all bad. Some of it looks good like I mentioned. I think the stratosphere and bomb shot looks pretty good. Most of the trailer here is just reused shots from the first trailer and um you know of course it just it just showing the Mirage vehicle because that's what the purpose of this trailer is. We don't exactly get anything interesting towards the end of the trailer where we get a new look at Mirage here. Um, full body shot of him in the sunlight Apparently this is still not the same scene where he transforms and you know drops off Noah somewhere and he says, I'm Mirage. Dude's really full of himself. Like how many times has he said I'm Mirage in the span of like 30 seconds? <laughs> he has an Autobot insignia inside his little um helmet thing, I guess. And this is what I meant by him like giving me uncanny valley effect. Like look at his face and the way it is. It's like this thing that opens up, up and down, and it just looks so weird. If you play FNAF and you've seen Ennard, he reminds me of that. You know, like this white face trying to emulate a person, and it just looks kind of off. Unlike Optimus Prime, which just, just looks bad, this one just looks a bit uncanny to me. Maybe I'll get used to it, you know, maybe I'll get used to it. Maybe it's just because there's still a new design in my eyes and I'm still not used to it. It does give me a lot of Age of Extinction vibes though. The body feels very hard rod, what the, you know, the mouth and everything else feels very crosshairs. It's like a weird mix of the two. And also something else that I mentioned on my stream and look, I, I don't wanna like slack on the trailer and the people who worked on this. I'm sure they're trying their best and they're probably under a lot of like pressure and you know, time issues. And I, I don't wanna like, you know, be like, oh, this movie's gonna suck. Just look at all the horrible stuff they're doing. I wanna be, you know, optimistic and I'm still am. There was like really cool stuff on this trailer, but I can't help but be disappointed that this is all we got. Maybe in the upcoming days we'll get an actual full-blown second trailer. This, this wasn't that bad if I'm honest, but the CGI in this part looks a bit off. A am I wrong? Am I wrong that the CGI here looks a bit off? Because this reminds me a lot of that guy on YouTube, you know, um, the guy who makes the Rise of the Beast quote-unquote leak scenes. Where, you know, it all... You, you can tell it's fan-made. This feels a tiny bit like that. Again, maybe I'm judging it too harshly, and you know, maybe I am. If I am, let me know in the comments down below, but I just feel that a lot of the CGI we've been seeing for this movie so far, it's not up to par with uh, what we've been used to with the Transformers movies for Michael Bay, and arguably Bumblebee. Bumblebee too, um, Bumblebee was kind of a step down from the Bay movies in terms of CGI, but it was still pretty good. In this one, this is the first time where I genuinely feel like people are like genuinely critiquing the CGI, and that's in my opinion not a good sign. That's pretty much how I feel about it. Um, I wish I had more to say. Again, remember, um, Mirage is being voiced by Pete Davidson. I know some people have a problem with him. I honestly don't know what the deal is. I, I'm not like, oh yeah, he does this and I just don't care. It's just, I genuinely just don't know because I'm not interested in voice actors and the stuff they do. So as I've been seeing the general reaction, most people seem to think that it's okay for what we got, but a lot of people seem to agree with me, especially the DFL Design 5 website, which I'm checking right now, that the CGI does in fact feel a bit off. 
people also seem to be in agreement that uh, Pete Davidson as Mirage actually sounds pretty good, which, you know, I was never worried about that. People were worried about that, but like, I thought they wouldn't get these voice actors if they didn't think they could do at least the bare minimum. And seeing Mirage talk in the trailer, I, I was completely fine with his voice, like totally. I, I never had a problem with him. You know, I always thought it would be fine and it turned out to be that way. But overall, the CGI is improving, the color composition is getting better, there are some scenes here and there where I feel the CGI looks a bit off, if not fan made, Mirage's face is very uncanny valley. So far this movie is really struggling with faces and heads, it's honestly not that difficult, just keep Optimus with his mask the whole time, just keep Wheel Jack with his mask the whole time. Overall, I think more t time in CGI is being wasted with mild movements that are unnecessary for some characters. Now, I say for some characters because for others like RC and Mirage here, I think you know that's crucial because we're gonna spend a lot of time with Mirage, so you wanna give them out. But other characters, I feel like we could like do without them. But it's a point that we didn't get to see anything from the Terror Cons, but the fact that we got to see Stratosphere makes my heart happy. So I'm decently satisfied for now. But if I were to rate this trailer, I would give it a strong 5 out of 10. This wasn't it for me. I think Stratos here carry this trailer and um, just seeing how the CGI has improved in some areas and still needs to work in, in, still needs work in others has, you know, calms me a bit more but it's not enough to um, put all my worries at ease. So um, I'm gonna make more videos talking about the trailer, of course, there's a lot of other stuff I wanna talk about, especially when it comes to theorizing what might happen in the movie and stuff. Not that they officially kind of announced Mirage to the world, I guess we're gonna see some more Mirage merch and leaks finally start appearing in the upcoming days. So as soon as those come out, I'll do my best to cover them. So yeah. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully you all enjoy. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this trailer. Was it good? Was it bad? Is there something you noticed that I didn't? Do you feel that it was very underwhelming like I did? Um, let me know all about that in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Do all that annoying YouTuber stuff that the algorithm likes. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay safe guys. And don't forget that you should donate to my Patreon now. Anyways guys, before we go, shout out to our amazing Patreons. Xavier the God, Stitch Productions, Scrub Lordo, All Spark Studios, Epic Nin, Thor Racer, Transformers Gears and Braun, that's still a long name, Optination Reviews, Joshua, James Newbold, Freddy King Hunter Plays, Omega Trion 2000, Namekai, The Diamond Crest Productions, and our newest super handsome Patreon. DJ Universe. And an even bigger shout out to our even bigger Patreon, Jordan the Great and XNorder23, who donated a amount of money. Thank you guys so much for supporting the Patreon, it's much appreciated. If you guys donate to my Patreon, you get quite a few rewards. You get to collab with me in some videos if you choose to. You can request some artwork from me, get exclusive look on some upcoming videos early, and get a sneak peek at some of the stuff that I've been working on in the background that I haven't published just yet. But keep in mind that it is entirely optional, because freedom is the right of all sentient beings. Thank you to my patrons for donating, make sure to go check out the channel, some of them do Transformers content like tour reviews, news updates, or just regular good old gameplay videos, I'm sure there's something for you to enjoy. As always guys, thank you for donating, I couldn't do this without you. If you guys wanna donate to my Patreon, you know what to do. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.